After waiting for a really long time, seeing other people already have access to it, and just having to sit back like that one kid in recess that no one plays with by myself, waiting for the invite, hey Shane, you can play dodgeball with us. I can finally play dodgeball with the other kids because Magic Editor has finally arrived on my Pixel Fold. And I think it's kind of arriving on everybody's Pixel Fold right now because I've gotten quite a few comments and things from people on social media saying that it has popped up on their device. In this video, as quickly as I can, but you know, let's be detailed and thorough. I'm going to show you just in case you somehow don't know what Magic Editor is or how it works at this point in 2024. I'm going to explain it to you and show you a really, really great new feature your Pixel Fold just got for free. So first off, if for some reason you do not have Magic Editor on your Pixel Fold, just remain patient. It is coming at some point. should be very, very soon. And the good news is, since you have a Pixel phone, it's going to be free of charge. For non-Pixel users, you're going to need to have the 2 terabyte Google One subscription, or you're going to be limited to 10 saves per month. And the reason for this is because Magic Editor takes place in a data center in the cloud, and that does cost Google money. So with that out of the way, let's just go ahead and open this thing up, because I am finding that I am really loving Magic Editor on the Pixel Fold, because it has a bigger screen, and it just makes editing photos so much better. Let's jump into Google Photos, and I'll show you what it does. So this is a photo I took with the intention of using it as a thumbnail for an upcoming video, and I took this picture knowing full well that I was going to try to edit it in Magic Editor because I wanted to get rid of this section of my couch. If we click on our edit button, we have a couple of different options or approaches we could take to try to sort of address this. So let's go over to Tools. We're going to try Magic Eraser first. And the reason I want to do this is because I want to show you why you would use Magic Editor instead. So let's try just sort of circling the couch there and it should try to grab the edges of it, and it'll try to erase it. That's the result we're going to get, though, okay? Magic Eraser is good for small stuff. It is not going to be able to handle something that large, something that significant, okay? So let's back up. And you may not have even noticed that Magic Editor is there because the icon is sort of out of the way, and it's small. This is it. This is Magic Editor. If you click on this, we have an entirely new suite of tools that we can use. I'm going to simply tap on the couch, and it looks like... A lot of the time, it will get everything sort of contiguously. In this instance, it looks like it's not doing a super great job of doing that. Like, a lot of the time, it does that, and it's really, really good. Something about the texture of this couch is not doing it any favors. So we're going to have to kind of do a little bit of extra work. All right, that ought to be good enough. So one thing I do want to quickly show you is that you can adjust the selection down here, which will allow you to add or subtract. So let's say we want to actually subtract a chunk of it there. You can do that. You can kind of fine tune your result, or you can come down here and click on add and try and add these little sections on that maybe you missed. I really like that little fine tuning tool. Once you've got it, you have a couple of options. You could long press it and move it around. Let's say we're just going to try to move it slightly out of the frame, okay? If we hit this arrow, it's going to upload this to the cloud, to Google's data center, and it's going to use generative AI to fill in that space that we just left behind. And we'll see what kind of a result we're going to get here. We are done. So if we look at that, that's pretty darn good, right? Like, it's, it's completed some of the floor. Let me do a long press here, and you can see how much it filled in. It completed the pattern of the floor. It made more of that hose. I would say that is a very, very convincing result. And in fact, you could just use that. It's going to give you a few different options, though, which will be varied slightly. You can see this one here kind of messed up on the floor a little bit. But you'll get several different options to choose from, but you can go further than that. Let's just hit that X button. We're still selected. Now we're just going to try to erase it all together. It's going to delete the couch and try and fill in that entire space. We're asking it to do a lot here. And so we may, yes, end up with some weirdness going on there. So I'd say that one's not going to work. This one, it generated some sort of a, a, I thought that was a pebble, but maybe it's just a weird stain. I would say we have no good options there. So we're going to generate some new results. So after running it a couple of times, I got this, which doesn't look great, but I think I'm going to click on the check mark. And then what I can do is I can go back in and I can sort of select this area down here 
that doesn't look super duper good. We'll get this section here as well. And we'll try to run it again, basically asking it to handle a smaller section. And when you're doing something this big, sometimes you have to do that. And sometimes you have to have it try again a couple of times before you're going to get a great result. Again, we're asking it to do some pretty heavy lifting here. So I think this result is, again, getting a little bit closer. So we can go back in again. Maybe we'll select this area here that does look a little bit strange. And I think we're starting to get somewhere that's going to be passable. But rather than continuing to iterate on this, let me quickly just show you something because I've already done this and I kind of did my thing on it, took my time with it. And this was the result that I came up with. It actually tried to generate like a window or something up there. I don't know what exactly it is. I could probably get rid of that too. But this is what it actually came up with. And if you look really closely, it's going to be really hard for someone to notice that, right? Like I can absolutely use that as a thumbnail on a video. It's going to be small. Nobody's going to spot it. Let's try and get rid of that little window section up there actually because that is going to bug me. We'll just get rid of that and erase that. You could probably do that with Magic Eraser, honestly, because it's just like a blue wall. But we'll use Editor and we'll call it a day. And we're going to go ahead and save a copy. And that is done. And again, the less difficult the task is you ask it to do, the better it's going to work. That was a lot. Getting the pattern of the floor, getting the pattern of the hose correct. It's really impressive that it can do this kind of stuff. I want to show you one more thing that it can do that I don't think has been talked about a whole lot. And it's just kind of a weird option. This little uh, brush thing, or this, I don't know what you would call that. Is it like a pen, a pencil? I don't know what that is. It's a little icon down there. If you click on it, stylized is an option. What it's going to do is it's going to take this photo and it's going to come up with some pretty bizarre, pretty strange different effects for the photo using generative AI. So there's one that's kind of odd. There's another one. That's kind of cool looking. I mean, it bears no resemblance really to a pixel fold at that point, but it's kind of cool. It looks like modern art or something like that. I just want to show you one more example of something that I used this for just the other day. I took this picture of my boy Rutherford, but of course down here is my leg and it's got a lot of Australian shepherd fur on it. And it just was kind of bugging me. So I threw it over to Magic Editor and I got rid of my leg. It completed the couch. It completed the pattern on the rug. If I posted this online, no one would say a word. They would not think a thing about it. They might wonder where I'm sitting, how I'm taking this picture, but they're not going to think anything weird was going on. And that is the power of Magic Editor. Removing things, moving things around, pinching to zoom to make things bigger or smaller. The things it is capable of is extremely impressive and it goes well beyond what you're going to see on things like Magic Eraser. In fact, I've shown you before where I've erased something near water and it's actually replaced the reflections on the water. It's, it's really, really impressive. And since it's done, in a data center, it's only going to get better and improve over time without even needing an update on your phone, which is really cool. Enjoy the new feature on your Pixel devices, not just on the Pixel Fold, of course, but this is rolling out everywhere. Like I said earlier, if it's on a non-Pixel device, you might need that subscription, but still, it's rolling out to everybody. Give it a try. It's a lot of fun, potentially very useful. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content just like this, and until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.